Right, hi, good morning, good afternoon, or wherever you are. Uh, it's Keith, this is Ronald from Hong Kong. Hello. Um, we've just got, as you know, just got back from Australia, and we're working on quite a major upgrade on the firmware. So this firmware, we've got a few things going on here. And first of all, this is a lot of it's to do with the UK. We're introducing a special mode, a low power mode. So we're actually setting up, and this is a testing of the low power mode. As far as most people are concerned, you don't have to do all this. This setup is just purely to test the thing works and to prove it actually does work. If I come out of here, and if I go on to battery settings here, and I go into battery shutdown, I've got low battery mode, and I've got this other thing that says low power mode. Low power mode is particularly used for countries with no sunshine in the winter, i.e. UK. So it's particularly it's ideal for that. And what this is here, the low battery figure actually becomes the level of which the low power operates. So how does it work? Well, it works very interestingly. Now, this, this, this power supply is emulating solar panels. And in fact, we're putting about 900 watts, or whatever it is, roughly 900 watts into it. And if you can see from here, if it goes to the flow chart, you can see the power flowing from the solar panels. Everything is happy and Kidori. And in fact, you see the power, it's flowing into the battery um, and it, it's, it's charging the battery. All good, all good at the moment. So, so what happens is at night time, at night time, we get no sun. So I switch off the power supply. So now there's no sun. We're still outputting, we're actually using a UPS here. And you see the UPS is operating here. So the UPS power is flowing through into the UPS. What then later on happens is, is the battery on the inverter may be using the power from the UPS, it may be exporting the power, but at some point the inverter will drop down and drop down, the battery will drop down. So let me escape this here, and you'll see the battery now is running at 28%. Okay, we're running from the grid at 28%, and the power from the grid, but the inverter itself is switched off. So what's the battery power? What's it what's pulling? Inverter power. From battery? Yeah. Uh, it's almost zero. It's 0 0.3 amps. Right. So the quiescent current now on the inverter, what's pulling from the battery is dropped right down, but it still works as UPS. Because as AC there, it's running through as, as, as a UPS mode, which is fantastic. Um, what would happen now, normally we wouldn't be using a UPS, it, it wouldn't go through as UPS. The, it is in an ultra low power mode. So one of the things that we would notice, if we lose the AC um, completely, so we've got AC there, but if we lose the AC, so unplug the AC, we will lose the UPS. So disconnect the AC. I will disconnect the AC now. Right, it's gone. UPS is gone. Because it's in low power mode. So the UPS is gone but we don't lose it. It takes around about a minute and it will switch on. But the inverter is running in ultra low power mode, which is actually, now, what's the benefits? Massive benefits, because if you're running, say, 50 or 60 watts, 24 seven, it's fine when the sun shines, shining, using the power. But at nighttime, if you're not using the power, you're just gonna waste that. So the low power mode doesn't waste that energy. It, that energy is not used and it's not wasted. So we're using the ultra low power mode. So we just wait a short while and hopefully we'll see the lights come on in a second. But I'm gonna show you some other stuff in a second. Some really, really nice stuff. Once this goes on, and it, the inverter should boot itself back up. Become, so hopefully we'll fast forward time a little bit and you keep filming it. Okay, so it's on. Ah, right, how long did that take? <laughs> how long did it take? For well, two minutes. Okay, so we know the UPS will come in it takes about two minutes or you can force it back on again. So the inverter now is booted up to normal and it's actually running. And what it's actually running is it's running on the delta. So if we go back onto the battery here, go to battery and you'll see shut down. There is a difference between the low battery mode and the low and the shutdown power. Now it's running, so it's really an emergency power. Mm -hmm. So now it's using the last 10% of the battery, but as an emergency. So, okay, power back on again, just mm -hmm. put power back on. Right. Back on again, right. and we got the AC light. Yeah. So there's lots and lots of other things going on at the moment. Um, so I get past me, all right? <laughs> yeah. 
there's lots there's lots of other things going on one of the things that we've, we've changed on here um if you look on here if you go on to battery and you'll see this the battery screen is very different and in fact what we can do is we can interrogate mm -hmm. every cell so if you're using one of the sunsync uh, ip rated batteries and if you want to look at a particular battery you can see we're now producing a, a lot more information Okay, this will give us masses and massive information about the battery and that comes straight onto the screen. So there's lots more going on. There are other updates and there are other changes that we've done on this. Um, in fact, I'm not gonna go through all the changes um, now on this video, I'll do it on the next video because I don't want to drown out the most important thing which is the low power feature because the low power feature will save people a lot of money, especially in environments which, which are, like England, they've got no sunshine. Mm -hmm. So this updates to the version. Let me just look at the version. So the version is that will be available now immediately. All right, for the MCU is 3383-07F7. And for the LCD, that is E428. All right, thanks, Rob. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> Great, so there it is. Um, immediately downloadable, will save bucket loads a power um, and it, it makes our product the best on the market I think thanks for following the video um, please try um, the, the, the new software any problems any questions please contact Joel at joel at sunsync um, dot com uh, or contact Ronald at what's your email Ronald at sunsync .com. <laughs> yes it's Ronald sunsync dot com right contact either of them guys <laughs> don't call me <laughs> Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. See you later. Bye-bye.